So we just reported on this tidbit of information that was gleaned from the Tesla semi delivery event when Dan Priestley, Tesla's senior manager of semi truck engineering, shared such a juicy tidbit, a morsel, if you will, that I believe it deserves its own story. The Cybertruck will have one, one megawatt, megawatt charging. charging. OK, so first off, let's make sure that everyone knows what one, one megawatt, megawatt charging, charging means, mean. because I think that this is one of those things that most people don't know much about. And by things, I mean electricity. Yeah, we're all used to plugging devices into the wall to power them, but most of us have no idea how much power they're drawing and what the voltage is and the amps and et cetera. On this show, you'll hear us talking about charging speeds of vehicles all the time. In fact, it's something we test because it's such an important part of a vehicle, like our F-150 versus Rivian charge off in depth video. We usually say something like the Ford F-150 can charge at 157 kilowatts. It appears that the Ford is pulling 155, 156, Oh, 157 kilowatts. It took us about five minutes to get the charge actually going, but we're gonna count it from 1236. We're at 13% to start. We're now at 14% and we're gonna see how long it takes to get to 80%. So yeah, we tested our F-150 and found out it charges at a max charging speed of 157 kilowatts, at least during that test under those conditions. What one megawatt charging means is that the Cybertruck and semi-truck will be able to pull 1 million watts of power into the battery. That's over six times more electrons than the F-150 Lightning, for example. So putting aside amps and volts and watts for a second, even if you don't care to learn any of that, it essentially means that the Cybertruck should charge over six times faster than the F-150 Lightning. It took us 46 minutes during our testing to charge the F-150 from 11% to 82%. And we've gotten almost 95 kilowatt hours of electricity in 46 minutes. I think that we're gonna call it there. That's 95 kilowatt hours of electricity in 46 minutes. So by my math, the Cybertruck with one megawatt charging speed should be able to charge from 11% to 82% in about seven minutes. <laughs> now. We don't know everything that we need to know yet. Uh, we would need to know the taper curve, but assuming it follows a similar curve as most EVs where the power drops as the battery fills up, this could be a mic drop moment for the Cybertruck. If it could charge at seven minutes versus the Ford F-150's 46 minutes and Rivian in 42 minutes, yeah, I got to stop here and talk about why that's a game changer. If Tesla comes up with a Cybertruck that can do what we think it can now, and arguably the biggest drawback to electric vehicles for most people is range anxiety and charging speed, how long it takes to sit there and, and charge it. If you're now down to seven minutes for most charging, that's basically going to a gas station. So that would put an end to anyone's pushback against the truck being electric. And I think that this implies that the Cybertruck is using the same or similar 1000 volt powertrain architecture as the semi truck. Yeah, this is just conjecture at this point, so don't quote us, but to pull one megawatt means that you have to increase the voltage of the pack. And Elon did say that the semi's 1000 volt architecture would be coming to future passenger vehicles. He just didn't specify which ones. So this has so many implications for the supercharging network. How many new 1000 megawatt version four stalls per location? Do trucks get priority? Will semi trucks be stopping at superchargers? Can Cybertruck use regular superchargers and the like? It's Really, really, really exciting because the, the biggest drawback, especially with electric trucks, is they are so inefficient that for the same amount of charging speed that you're getting, you are getting less miles of distance added to your vehicle over a given span of time. If you can massively increase the charging speed, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. And this is going. To, yeah. Good. Goodbye, Rivian. Goodbye, Ford. Goodbye, GM. This puts all of them to shame. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.